after the surface has all been prepped, base coated, ready for me to do my next step. I'm going to mask off the area I want to put my tribal design on. Mask off any areas I don't want any overspray. What I'm going to use to mask off this surface is a uh, adhesive sticky paper. It's an application tape. You can get it at any stores basically, any sign place. A lot of art stores carry them. And the nice thing about this is that it, it bends and folds to the contour of your surface. Ideally you want to have as smooth as possible. You don't have a whole lot of big overlaps with the tape. Try to keep it clean. It's only going to help you with your sketching and your design work. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to tape it off. I'm going to mask off the areas with basically some rolled paper, some 3M tape, tape it off so we don't get any overspray. within this area here. I went ahead and let my paper fold off both ends and I'm not worried about the groove that's underneath here. If I was putting design in here I might use smaller pieces to get it to form within the creases of, of this top. What I'm doing, since I'm only keeping it within this area, I'm not doing anything up in here. I'm not going to be painting in these grooves in here. I'm going to be painting mostly in the flat area. So let's not worry about these other areas with masking off and things like that. These areas over here, I'm going to use the paper and the tape on it just to keep everything nice and clean. When you're applying your mask, you want to make sure you get, try to get as many of the bubbles out as you can, follow the contours. The good thing about this is that you can push it down and you can get this curve and you can get little creases in it. They are not going to affect your overall design. Of course, the more you have, a little more difficult it is to work with it, so try to keep it as flat as possible. I'm not going to be working in these areas, but I still let it mask off to keep everything nice and clean. We're going to be spraying some flake paint and it has a tendency to drift all, all over everything. So what we want to do is mask everything off because in these areas that we want to remain black, we don't want to get any overspray on them, cause you problems later. So try to keep everything as clean as possible, mask off everything you don't want to get any paint on.
Now that we've got everything masked off, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to sketch out my design with just the basic pencil, get it all ready to cut. Once I got everything looking the way I want it, we're going to go to town. Now that I have my whole design all laid out, it's going to be a tribal beveled edge. Next step is to cut the design out. Use a sharp X-Acto blade, pull it, try not to cut your surface, just cut only the paper. I want you to keep in mind, as I'm cutting this, I'm not worried about staying exactly on my reference drawing that I'm doing. I'm more worried about having nice clean circles, no jagged edges. As I'm coming back around here, I'm paying close attention to where I had stopped to reconnect it so you don't end up with with jagged edges. Key to making these look right is to have nice smooth lines where you don't have it look like it was cut with jagged lines. You want nice smooth circles, nice smooth curves. Now that I've cut my design out, I have it laid out and I cut it with the X-Acto blade, I'm going to peel the inside out and be ready to start my bubbling.
now that I have everything unmasked, I've gone through it, I've cleaned up my edges, if any, I want to make sure nice clean, check for any spots that the paper may have lifted up, if needed, you can apply a piece of tape to help hold it, cover them up. We're going to take this masking tape and I'm going to go around the whole design with it, and this is going to be the size of my bevel. I have different size tapes you can use, quarter, bigger, half. I'm going to use quarter inch, go all the way around, and then we're going to be ready to spray the inside part. You want to try to get up right up to the edge. Okay, you don't want to be overlapping, you don't want to be going big gaps. You want to go as close as you can to the edge. Okay, this is going to keep a consistent bevel through the whole thing. You also don't want to be pulling on this tape too much as it will stretch and you'll end up with skinnier parts and larger parts and we want to keep it somewhat consistent through the whole thing. So I'm barely pulling out and I'm barely applying pressure right now. my bevel all laid out around the entire tribal object here. My next step is I have some hairline spots on the outside of this bevel which I want to cover up. I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to cover up just around the very outside just to ensure that I don't have any spots coming through when I start spraying. going to do next spray the inside of this tribal design. I'm basically going to use a white, silver, and a blue. I'm going to start with my white first and hit all my highlights. I like to take pieces of metal and look at them and look at the way they're reflecting. It gives me an idea how to spray when I'm spraying this kind of chrome look. Now if you wanted to you could put skulls in here, you could put designs, you could spray pretty much anything and still use the same technique we're using today. To keep this simple, I'm going to treat it like it's a piece of metal. The light's coming in at a certain direction. So what I'm going to do is start with my white. So as I'm spraying this, I'm basically going to be spraying the areas I want to be my brightest. And I'm going to come back in with silver and go over a lot of this. So my brightest parts on this, since we're spraying on a black surface, is what I'm spraying right now. So I'm starting with my light and then I'm going to my darker colors. If I was working on a white surface, I'd be starting with my darker colors and then go into my lighter colors. So 
I'm also not, I'm also not crisscrossing my lines. I'm keeping everything going in the same general direction. This keeps a good uniform to it and it doesn't start getting real choppy looking. So that's why I say look at pieces of metal, hold them up to light, try to get a good reference on how light hits and reflects off of things. This will only help you with your design.